What's up guys, this is Haradik here. So one of you guys asked me to review the Resurrection ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos which is based on Android 6.1 Marshmallow. So let's begin. So basically the ROM file and the G apps uh, are linked down below in the description. So do check the description out. So yeah, today I'll be flashing the uh, ROM and I'll be showing you what all we get in the ROM. So just reboot into recovery and then wait until it reboots. There we go. And it will boot into the recovery. So I'm having the uh, fields recovery but it will also work on the uh, CWM or the DWRP as well. So what I do is I'll first uh, wipe data and factory reset, clean to install a new ROM. Yes, I'll install a new ROM. And just note that the battery, just keep your battery above 40% just for safety reasons and uh, nothing else. So we'll wait until it's done. Formatting system. And it's done. So then just install zip, choose zip from SD card, scroll down and then you can see Resurrection Remix M uh, and just install it. There you can see Resurrection Remix the double R and just let's wait for it until it's done. Also it says flashing super SU so I guess it comes pre-rooted and it's done. So we'll just do one thing, we'll just go back and now we'll install the uh, Google Apps. As you can see we have the Open G Apps ARM 6.0. Uh, you can have any G Apps, uh, any 6.0 based G Apps but I have the Open G Apps, those are the Nano. Uh, let's see if it uh, gets installed. So just uh, install this and just wait. It's also installing a few extra things I think. The face unlock, the face detect, the Google Ads and things. I don't know what they are exactly, we'll just check it uh, when we boot up. Okay, installing search. And we're done. So just go back and just reboot system now. Uh, there we go. So it's rebooting. And I'll be right back once it reboots. And we're done. It says optimizing apps 12 of 100. So what I'll do is I'll be right back once it's done. It'll take a bit of a time. Also the boot take around 5 minutes, not more than that. So yeah, just for you to know. And yeah, I'll be right back once it's done. Uh, so yeah, the app optimization is almost done. And yeah, it's 100%. So starting app, it, uh, it says. And we'll be in after finishing the boot there we go and we are in so I'll just quickly uh, enter the setup real quick so the setup was pretty google type I mean just uh, enter your email id and all that stuff and yeah so I'll just accept everything Next, I know you guys can't see this but just bear with me for a few seconds and we'll be just in the ROM. So, Yeah. 
okay for some reason it's taking a lot of time I don't know for why uh, but yeah just wait uh, and let's see what happens okay so it's asking me for which device to uh, restore from I'll just quickly adjust the exposure uh, let me see there you go uh, what I'll do is I'll select uh, a new device I'm sorry I'll just go back and I'll just select don't restore for, for now there we go I just hit that and yeah we are in so you should have got it and there you can see this here is the ROM I just quickly turn down the brightness real quick there you go so now you can see this perfectly but yeah this here is the ROM uh, first experience pretty pretty smooth as you can see you get the vertical scro scrolling uh, thing uh, let's just quickly go to settings and let's go down to about phone and yeah resurrection version uh, 5.6.7 and it's on android 6.0.1 marshmallow as you can see just quickly play the game and see if it's smooth yeah it's pretty smooth so yeah pretty pretty smooth rom for now I'll just quickly go into the camera and I'll just check if the video works or not because the last ROM I did, the um, CM13, uh, the video uh, was not working so as you can see the UI is different as well so I'll just tilt this and I'll just go into video more and let's find where is the video mode um, yeah there we go so it's the video mode and tap it and yeah as you can see uh, the timer began we can also take pictures while recording just tap here and it takes the picture so that's pretty cool so we'll just turn to the camera again and yeah as you can see the UI is different as well snap and take the pictures also you have many uh, options here in the camera as you can see you can change the storage location and things like that but yeah you can mess around with that so let's see what else we get here uh, we get add away so that's pretty cool add block or something like that then we have the kernel auditor ooh that's cool as well we have the omni switch uh, which is I guess the setting uh, to uh, let's check this out for a second yeah it's for this uh, okay uh, so let's turn this off for a second just quickly check the multitasking that's normal okay so that's pretty cool then we have the kernel auditor as I said we have the theme manager so that's cool we'll just go into settings real quick and see what all we get here so we can change the configurations uh, you can personalize the device as per our wish the status bar uh, the verification things this is actually pretty cool I'll just uh, do this and battery bar okay so yeah you can mess with the customization you can show the 4G instead of LTE so that's pretty cool uh, then going back to notification drawer you can expand it you can customize the notification thing then going back to navbar you can enable the navbar so you get the navbar here so on screen buttons uh, and you can use the off screen as well but I'll just turn this off quickly so going back here you can change the what buttons do the quick settings panel the animation gestures oh there are tons of features you can even change the themes so you can get more online uh, just let me check what the updates actually do okay so these are the updates for the resurrection remix rom uh, so that's pretty cool there are tons and tons of features as you saw there you get the memory which was the marshmallow feature as you can see uh, so it basically tells us how much RAM is used then we have the storage let's find the storage there you can see we have the storage I don't have an internal SD card at the moment uh, but uh, I mean you can check if the SD card works as an internal storage as well I guess it will work but I have no idea actually 
then we have to press the install so this is pre-rooted okay um so no thanks there you can see then we have the performance mode so it will ask for the root access just grant the root access and you're good to go so basically this is the kernel auditor you can basically overclock or underclock the kernel so that's actually for that then going back uh, about devices said and yeah that's pretty much it we'll just quickly enable the uh, develop options and let's see what all we have okay it was enabled already uh, but yeah I'll just do that and just uh, also uh, enable the root access apps to, to apps and adb so yeah you're good to go then uh, so yeah basically that's pretty much it uh, also if you want uh, to see the full review of this ROM uh, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll uh, do it if uh, I get maximum response of this for this ROM so yeah that's pretty much it uh, thank you for watching this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and also let me know about all ROMs you have to see for the grand and other device as well so yeah that's about it thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one